Hello, sweet souls. Happy Tuesday, April 25th. Um, this will be a full-length reading on TikTok and YouTube. If I exceed the 10 minutes, follow me on YouTube. You guys know where to find the scheduling link um, to schedule and also email for the video reads. Um, I just want to say thank you for all of your love and support, your donations to the channel, and for being supportive in the comments of one another. I'm really uh, grateful for that. Okay, so we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action. Heard myself, the viewer. I'm going to call on the Holy Spirit, Angel Saints, Spirit Guides, and the Ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. Okay. So let's do a couple of the wisdom of the Oracle. What does the collective need to know? So, exchanging gifts talks about being open to receive the blessings of the universe. You are in high vibration. You're open to receive. And the universe, your angels, uh, spirit guides, the saints are helping you to close out a karmic cycle. This is card number 37, which reduces to a 10. Um, a leg up reduces to a 7, which is will create a change in your luck. They're guiding you toward treasure island. The bottom of the deck is happy, happy. So, let's see. Let's clarify these cards. Exchanging gifts. Please clarify exchanging gifts. Okay, so as far as exchanging gifts goes, you had a false emperor in your energy. You found balance once you have released this person. This person was very deceptive. It could have had fire placements, but a very self-absorbed, arrogant energy. Um, you put the work into yourself, into healing, because God gave you the truth and clarity that you needed. And now you're in this high vibration, and you can manifest the life that you desire. Okay, so please clarify a leg up. Please clarify a leg up. Yep. So your spirit guides, angels and saints are assisting you. You've got somebody this night of swords energy. This can be a fast in and out energy, but this is also someone that likes to talk. <laughs> That's what I'm getting with the justice in reverse. This person has done a lot of slandering, defamation of character, and they're being hit by your ancestors with karma because of it. Okay, please clarify never-ending story. Closing out this cycle elevated you to the pre-empress nine of pentacles, the lady of luxury, proud, confident, independent, well cared for by God. Um, and also puts you in this Queen of Swords energy, speaking your truth and cutting out what doesn't serve you any longer. So you closed the cycle and it empowered you. Please clarify Treasure Island. Wow. Man, look at this. You got someone here now is recognizing that you were their emotional fulfillment and now you are a missed opportunity because this person was an emotional manipulator with the king of cups in reverse. This person played too many games. They like to play with your emotion and now you're tapped into your intuition with the high priestess and then your full power with the queen of wands. You rely on your intuition. You rely on God and you go after what you're passionate about. You don't have time for games. You just leave it in the past. Okay, so let's clarify Treasure Island. I don't know if I already clarified that or not. Did I clarify that? Ending story. Yeah, let's clarify Happy Happy. Okay, so I see a new offer coming in. This will be balanced. This will be equal give and take. It could be somebody with earth placements, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a very stable energy. 
and this person will view you as the empress. They will know your your value and your worth. They will see you as this abundant, loving, nurturing energy. Okay, what other advice do you have for the collective? got someone that is very emotionally physically spiritually or financially imbalanced this could be someone that has leo placements um, this person is very weak even cowardly um, you have this twin flame soulmate union which is a part of your good karma because you closed out a cycle successfully it was that hurt you that broke your heart they wouldn't apologize um, because now they're in the three of swords heartbreak in a third party situation in a lover's karmic situation feeling trapped feeling stuck and it's because they wanted to win at all cost in low vibrational energy and it just taught you to love yourself it really taught you to pour into your own cup and to help others in your community it puts you in a way better place. A new path with the full. A new beginning. You may hear communication from someone from the past who's heavy in regret. I don't feel like you're interested um, because you're focused on real divine love. You let that tower fall. And you're headed toward generational wealth. Ten of Pentacles. This has been coming out a lot. Um, a new opportunity is coming in and I do see generational wealth. You know, people from the past that mistreated you, that's, if they have regret, then they need to do the right thing. They need to speak the truth and absolute truth and be accountable. That's the only way they're going to release, begin to release their karmic debt. But, you know, they have free will. I don't think you guys need closure, though. I don't think you are concerned about this person. All right. What else do we need to know, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels and Saints. What's the collective need to know for their greater good? Seven of Wands. You are divinely protected. From the devil. Low vibe toxic energies. God protects you from these low vibe energies. And you're headed toward Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. A happy home. A happy life. And whoever was in the devil energy is in the nine of swords to the five of swords, mentally tormented. This is someone that can't sleep. This is someone that is haunted by the memory of what they did, trying to get away with it. This is karma. This is their karma, part of it anyway. Collective needs to know. Ace of cups, divine love is headed your way. That is your good karma, divine love because you went through significant endings that led to an awakening, a rebirth. Yeah, someone out there might be trying to create an illusion, um, breadcrumbing, um, trying to cause chaos and conflict for you. It's only because they're upset because you're a missed opportunity and God doesn't want you to worry because whatever actions these people take if it's negative in nature, it goes right back to them. If you're returning it to sender, yes, look. God's saying you don't have to worry. They're protecting you. These energies are blocked from your energy. Yep, they're saying continue to pour into your own cup with this queen of cups to the magician and manifest. Um, love you. Love who you are and manifest, okay? Good karma is headed your way. You know, you're someone here from the past does is refusing to heal. They don't want to heal. They're completely exhausted. I mean, I'm talking like tapped out. There's nothing left to them. They're very foolish in their energy, but you are this lady of luxury and you're staying to yourself and you're focused on your creativity 
you're not focused on whoever this energy is, which was a karmic to you. It was a karmic. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a family member, friend, whoever it is to you. Yeah, this was a this was an emperor energy. This is a father figure. This is someone that could be a boss, but this is someone who kept their options open. They didn't prioritize the, your relationship and that was a big mistake for them. Yeah, because now they found themselves imbalanced. Wishing, praying and hoping they had you back. Which is sad, but that's the way it works. You know, you're focused on speaking truth, being your true authentic self, planting those seeds, manifesting. You have released the past. A new offer is coming in with the Knight of Pentacles that's gonna be very stable and it's gonna take you into a time of peace as well as victory and recognition, okay? That's awesome. All right, guys, this is the reading I have for you. I love you, and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.